Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome to a Kerbal Space Program video. How to download CCAN and mods in general, especially ones that aren't on CCAN. Now this is not going to be an in-depth how to do everything video, but it will get your feet wet. Remember that I am running Windows 11, so this might be a little different for some of you. However, if you're running Windows 10, it, it might be, it, you, you might be able to do the same thing that I can do, but it's been a while since I've had Windows 10, so I can't really remember. Windows 7, if you if you still run in Windows 7, then I apologize if I lose you during this tutorial. Now, if you have Kerbal Space Program on console, well, unless something happened that I don't know about, you can't download mods on console. Ever. Sorry for your loss. So I figured I'd make a quick video on how to actually download these mods. Yes. Turds. Lots of turds. All the turds, including the wet ones. Ew. But don't worry, this is digital turds. You won't get messy. Or you might, I don't know. So, if you're playing Kerbal Space Program on Steam, it's the same as if you downloaded it off of the website. It doesn't really matter. If you have it on Steam, simply go to your Steam account, Kerbal Space Program, select Manage, and then Browse Local Files. This will go straight to your Kerbal Space Program file. The same kind of file that would be there is if you downloaded it from the actual website back in the day. In the game data file is where you're going to put your mods at. Remember this for future reference. Now the first mod that I'm going to show you how to download is of course Textures Unlimited Recolor Depot or Turd for short. Turd. Yes, Turd. Go to Google, type down KSP mod T-U-R-D Turd. Turd. And it should pop up in Kerbal Space Program forums as Texture Unlimited Recolor Depot. Go ahead and click that link. Make sure you're on the first page. For some reason it always puts me on the sixth one. Scroll down until you see downloads now for me personally I would download the stock because I'm just playing stock but if you have other mods that put down other uh, spacecraft parts you can find those texture replacers in here they even have b9 which is a pretty cool mod but one of the things also is making history and breaking ground mods so if you're a purist and stick to stock stuff including making history and breaking ground dlc those are the two links that you want to click first we'll download the actual stock for me it says oh it's a virus blah, 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 blah. don't listen to it it's fine go ahead and download anyway this will go into your downloads save file once you're done with that go to making history and bring ground and click on that you'll be sent to this website simply scroll down and if you see under assets you'll have the textures what oh fuck it turd bg which is breaking ground or turd mh which is making history so if you only have one or the other you can select one or the other but for me i have both of them so i'll be selecting both of them at the same time the mh and bg go ahead and save the file now i'm running windows 11 which allows me to extract uh, zipped files. So if you have the same capability, go into your downloads, select the two downloads that you just got, and unzip the files. Reopen your Kerbal Space Program file. Click on Game Data. Now go into the mods that you just extracted from, go into the Game Data folders, and copy these folders into your Game Data inside of your game. So now, inside of Kerbal Space Program Game Data, you should have the mods listed inside of the game data folder along with squad and squad expansion however we are not quite done yet in order for these mods to work you need a mod manager now I'm sure there's a way to download mod manager by itself but I find that the easiest way to take care of it is just to download CCAN downloading CCAN is very simple go to Google type down KSP CCAN and click on the Kerbal Space Program forums link for CCAN the comprehensive Kerbal archive network make sure you're on the first page Page, scroll down and you'll see something that says download the latest release go ahead and click it it'll bring you to this website scroll all the way down until you see assets underneath of contributors. You'll see something that says CCAN EXE, executable. Go ahead and download this. Save file. Go back to your downloads and it should pop up. What you want to do with this file is you want to drag it into the game file or the KSP game file that you're going to be playing in. For me, I have several game files, but for some people they just have the one. The game file Kerbal Space Program will have everything in it. Either drag or copy and paste the CCAN file into your game folder. Be mindful not to put it into plugins, say, 
saves or game data. Just put it into the actual folder. Double click it when you're done. Your computer will of course tell you that, hey, are you sure you want this program to run your shit and have administrative privileges and stuff? It's fine. Press any key to exit if you get this window and finish installing the program. It's going to ask you if you want to check for updates. Go ahead and check for updates. It's going to ask you if you wanted to check for updates every time it's uploaded. Say yes. Now that you have CCAN, you have a world or a plethora of different mods that modders have put into the CCAN directory. If you do not know what to select or what's capable to be supported in your game, simply go to your filters and click compatible. Now all of the mods that you see before you should be able to run with your current install of Kerbal Space Program. Go ahead and select a few of them now. Scatterer for sure, Waterfall, and of course, Environmental Enhancements. Very basic, but easy to use. Once you're done selecting the mods that you want, click Apply, located on top. Now some of these mods have parent mods, or pieces that they need from other mods in order to work properly. Scatterer, in this case, needs Sunflare in order to work. So CCAN will automatically detect that, but it'll also detect a whole bunch of other mods that also have what Scatterer needs in order to work properly. You can either choose all of these mods or just stick with the one that CCAN has selected. Go ahead and click continue. Now that you've finished with CCAN, you can go ahead and exit the program. Go back to your Kerbal Space Program file, click on the game data, and you'll notice that everything that you put on CCAN for it to download, it downloaded into the game data file, but it also downloaded module manager, typically the most updated version. That's what we need in order for these for everything to work go ahead and run your Kerbal Space Program game regardless if it's from Steam or outside of Steam just to check to see if everything works already I see the clouds around Kerbin which means that they are working start a new game or select an older one and continue before entering the space plane hangar go to your settings scroll down until you see something that says advanced tweakables make sure that that is enabled click apply and accept once you're in the space plane hangar go ahead and select the part to make sure that the texture or turd Ugh. mod is working. Now when you click on a part, you should have a little slider that says either squad, it's all shiny, or Bob Ross, which is kind of hilarious. If you do, then everything is working fine. Now in order to actually use this mod, this color mod, red is your primary, green is your secondary, and of course the blue is for details. In the part recoloring window, you can slide red, green, or blue all over the place in order to make different colors. Make sure you click on either the main, secondary, or detail in order to customize that part on the part. You also have specular, which makes it shiny or not so shiny, metallic, which gives it a darker hue, and then finally detail, which allows you to enhance or even completely erase the lines and detail of that selected area on the part, which is pretty neat if you want something that's super, super clean, you can take the detail down to almost zero. But if you want something that looks used and dirty, like some sort of construction vehicle, you can bring the detail up to the highest setting. Now, on the right, you'll see load pattern, store pattern, load color, store color. Storing the color allows you to set a different type of color of whatever you've set and store it. You can then use the load color option to cycle through main, secondary, and detail with that same pattern of color. This also works for store pattern. So instead of doing individual colors, you can actually store the pattern of your main, secondary, and detail. This works good if you want to have the same kind of color pattern throughout your entire craft and be able to apply it quickly. Make sure both of the parts are on Bob Ross and then open the GUI on the very bottom. Now you can keep this window up. You don't have to close it every single time. So long as you select the part and hit part GUI on the bottom. Just select the part, open GUI, and boom, the window automatically switches over. Then you can just load pattern. Now further down on the right hand side you'll see a selection menu. This basically selects the preset colors on the bottom. Usually I just leave it on full so I can scroll through and see an easy selection. Like if I want to start off at orange I can just tweak the orange later but at least I have a pre-selected orange that I can run off of real quick. They also have gold, metallic, and things of this nature. They also have something called chrome. Now chrome doesn't necessarily work all that well but at least it looks 
looks pretty inside the VAB, or space plane hangar, but once you put it out into the actual game world, it bugs out and just goes solid black. Now, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that it's probably because it needs another type of mod that does reflections, but I digress. While not the att most attractive paint color, it does make for a good stealth ship in space. Now, before we end the video, if you're looking for Blackrack's volumetric clouds, you will have to go to his Patreon site and become a member for $5 a month. I'm telling you, it is the best $5 you have ever spent. Once you become a member, you can go ahead and download the file that he has for environmental visual enhancements and simply take the contents of that folder and put it into your environmental visual enhancements folder that's in your game data. Boom, done. I think there's another folder in there as well that you do, but you get the, you get you get the idea. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like. And if you loved what you saw, consider subscribing. We also have a men membership, a management membership. What the fuck? Membership program. If you become a member, you get cool little emojis and badges and stuff next to your name. Pretty cool. Check it out. And if you want to be notified of any videos that I come out with, please click on that notification bell because YouTube will never ever ever show you that i've put anything out unless you click on that bell i still get people asking me why haven't i uploaded anything until now because of the simple fact that they never clicked on the bell notification and therefore every time i upload something they are never notified stupid i know but that's youtube for you if you're wondering what kind of mods i use it's normally in the description below again i really hope this helped a lot of you i was being bombarded by requests for this video and like I said before, it's not an in-depth video, it's just something to get your feet wet with. So anyways, love you all, please be safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye.